Hey, Joycey. Wait for your to come in. Hi, Kim. Hey, Eileen. Hey, Lori. Hey, Shauna. Sorry, gulping. So if you're watching the recording and you aren't aware, this is a live stream with real people here. And feel free to fast forward if you're bored at any time. Hey, Wendy. So, um, Eileen sent me these. Because I bought some fabric inks. This is fabric paint. And she wanted me to have this one. Because this one, she says, it's the best. So there are 10 colors and a baby and we're going to paint pods. Hi, Janet. Hey, Dot. And I picked up while I was out. I picked up white ribbon bias tape I don't know if this will work or not but I bought these little fuzzy ball things I was thinking I could be interesting like to color and then glue on the outside make it look like polka dots maybe Maybe it'll look good, maybe not. I don't know. I've never done this before. Okay, so I need to add water to them. Ratio, two parts water, one part these. Okay. I pick up a couple things. Just regular felt, white felt. I found this. Um, this is 
called cool. this is felt too but this one is um pet fiber mode with 100 percent recycled and purified plastic bottles so i thought that'd be interesting so this is also felt but this is made with plastic bottles there's ridges in it so um i think that could be interesting facts so i picked up that to try and some yarn hi christy yep weird right i didn't even know this existed yep it's actually like pretty picked over too if i could get the camera to focus So, yeah. Um, so, the other thing I wanted to show you guys real quick. Uh, how are we at with this before we start? So, I... Uh, Worked on this last night for Wanderlust. And I actually put the string around my river rock and just ran it and glued it in the crease of the book. So it'd just be dangling there. <laughs> and hi, Debbie. And then I sewed my book. And so what I did is... Um, I used the rag, um, the rag fabric that Eileen and I bought, and then I used some, um, oh, no, this is just a uh, canvasy fabric, and then this is when we were making the card. I just thought, it was, you know, she's like, I saw this when I was looking for stuff. And I was like, see, she's meditating on the river. So, <laughs> she's meditating on the river. Um, I glued some alcohol paste, or uh, alcohol dyed um, tracing paper, the rag paper. This is alcohol. Um, this is just alcohol cardstock maybe because it's uh, it went through so this might have just been cardstock i don't know maybe this was upo i don't know feel free like could have been upo paper i was looking through my stash hey vaughn meditating on the river yep that's what she's doing then um more rag paper and then i put down the little grassy paper that Kathy sent and some more canvas and then this is watercolor paper that um sure I just got wet when I sat my drink down um this is just watercolor paper that I was doing a life book lesson and I didn't like the how it looked and so I just tore it out and kept it and that's just watercolor paper with um with acrylic paints so now the back obviously is the same but it's pretty long i mean but she's meditating on the river so this word you know we can make it our own so then you know fold 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 and there's my river rock i found walking through my neighborhood you just woke up from an unexpected nap and the book you know and the book still closes but the book is pretty full so I mean, I mean, it definitely, it definitely is going to make your book stick out a ton. So just saying. If it gets too bulky, I could always cut off part of it and just send it out. Or, you know, or you could just keep part of it in the book, close the book, you know what I mean? And just, I don't know. 
do something like this. I don't know. I'm not too worried about it. It's just a journal book for life book. So we'll, or not life book, Wonderless. We'll figure it out. Uh, so I did that to really late last night. Hi, Julie. <laughs> So I worked on this, the dangling rock. I think that's fun. Um, I did not find any usable, um, what do you call it, interfacing that wasn't like usable. All the ones I saw at the, the, the today at the store all were fusible. So I don't know. And I was looking for different weights. So they were all fusible. Every one of them. I don't have to worry about it because I don't remember why I bought them. But I have this one's already open. So, uh, this is, yeah, wash and gone, water soluble, embroidery stuff. So, I don't know if I can use this or not since it's water soluble. I found this too. Let's see what it says. Water soluble backing. Well, maybe I can't use it then for embroidery, even in cold water. Maybe I can't use this. I have to use something else. Oh, cheesecloth. I could dye that too. I got my cheesecloth. They saw, I saw cheesecloth at, actually at Joanne Fabrics. In the same aisle with the fusible um, interfacing. So I know that Joanne, sell, Joanne sells it and it was with the fusible interfacing. I purchased my roll of it, a giant roll, like a bolt of it over at Tuesday mornings is where I got mine. But I know I saw cheesecloth at Joanne. And it probably, I think cheesecloth is a, I think it's with the, some of the grocery stuff, I think. So the other feasible webbing that I have, I have this and I have this kind. I'll, let it tell, I'll see what Eileen tells me to use. Hi, Galena. Oh, I still got to send Vaughn that link. I just remembered it. I was supposed to send her the link to my um, puncher thing and I forgot. Hi, Mary Ann. We are going to fabric paint a bunch of stuff. <laughs> We're going to fabric paint play and fabric paint pods. And we're going to try some bias tape and we're going to paint some interfacing and felt and ribbon and just see what happens. And I'll use these eventually um, in a journal. What I think I might do with the pods, um, I only made jewelry with it, but I know I'm not going to do that. But what I was thinking is I would take, I may end up gluing um, like the color, like the yarn and um, try it all, but none of it will be fusible after it's dyed. Okay. <laughs> so it, don't glue it. So I was thinking that I would do is I will glue this um, like yarn into it. And I think what I'm going to do is I have, a, you know, a bunch of those metal rings for um, like I did my um, dream catcher. And I think I'll just make another dream catcher to hang up and I'll do some strings and uh, macrame or cords or whatever. And I'll hang the little pods off of the hoop. And um, once I get them, I might just use these to hang the, off the loop is what I was thinking I would do with them. All right, Kalina.
Hi, Rod. So that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to just um, play and have some fun. So I'm going to go get some water and um, for these cups. Get a spray bottle of water, too. Okie dokie, Miss Jean. Everything needs to be damp before you dye it, including the eggs, too. These are, these are silk pods. And um, I didn't know what they were either. They, what I saw on Amazon is they put them on their fingers and you can use these for facial scrubs. <laughs> so if you dye them and you don't like them, you're supposed to be able to use it to loofah your face. So I know this is used for cosmetic reasons. Right? I saw that on Amazon. You use these to loofah your face. It's, uh, and I'm like, okay. Um, but uh, Eileen used you use these to make jewelry. If you go to Pinterest and key in um, silkworm pods, like I did, there's people who glued them on, like they'll paint them, glue them on boards, use them for earrings, necklaces, all sorts of stuff. And you can use it to loofah your face. So I think it's for everything. Now I didn't. What was weirded out by is that. They basically, the little worms put their babies in here and then they come out and then um, basically they take these down and take the babies out and steal these. As you, which is kind of mean. They're really cool though. Um, if you look, like they're all different. Like none of them are the same. Like they're all, they're none the same. So you can tell it's not manufactured at a plant or something. I mean, because there are big ones, small ones. I mean, they're all different sizes. So, Kathy got nine, got the 90 pots. Are you serious? <laughs> she got 90. Remember, I told you, I said you can get 20. Are like a hundred, and I sat there, and there's only like a five dollar difference, you know. And I'm like, I don't know, 20 or 100, 20 or 100, there's nothing in between. And I was like, Well, it can't there be like 50 something, like 20 and 100? I mean, that's a big difference. So I went with 20, and then I wrong. like, you know, maybe I should have got the 100. I don't know. We'll see how much we like it. <laughs> okay. So we'll find out. Two loofahs per silk pod. Interesting. Oh, this one's nice. This one's like, this one's in sheets. I've had this stuff in my sewing station. And this one, you cut the size. I wonder if I could, um, I have an idea. Hold on.
it's just for fun. Oh yeah, you definitely could do that. I'm gonna die cut, see how this stuff die cuts real quick. See what happens. And if it doesn't, it tears, well then, yeah, no big loss. <laughs> I'm gonna be petting my pods. <laughs> my pet pods. All right, so I'm going to cut some of this because I didn't realize this, actually, the one I had was a big roll of it. Like I said, I went to my sewing stash of stuff. I haven't looked at forever. Hi, Kathy. All right, let me do a couple. Let me run a couple things through my scissors real quick. I gotta remember where the stupid uh, plastic things are. use one because I just found one. All right, Shauna. Okay. I have not die cut anything in forever. Hopefully I can just use one. I can't find the other plastic thing. Hold on. Let me run this through. Oh, yeah, I found it. Oh, it's inside here. Here now. Okay, I found it. I'll tell you what I'm doing, but I have to move my camera. I don't want to move my camera. So I'm just using a bunch of little um, Tim Holtz things that I never use. Which is little uh, dye things. Uh, I might need a bigger piece. Hey, Eileen, have you ever used uh, inter done a die cut for interfacing? do that. Maybe it won't work. Let's see. Might not work. It might be let me put a couple layers on see what happens. It might be too thin. I thought it'd be worth a try, but work it must be too thin yep well now you tell me Eileen 
after I try it. <laughs> All right, let's dilute the paint. I was thinking that would be really cool to try, but. I'll do the water and then add that to it. cardstock with it. That's smart. No, I have not read the directions. I'm trusting that Eileen knows what she's doing. She told me I need to do two parts, um, two parts, two parts water and one part of that. So apparently it's kind of strong. So so we're just going to play, looks like we're, uh, it looks like we're having a party here. So so I'm just going to try to get the water roughly, roughly the same and the drops roughly the same and I am going to paint them. I'm going to paint the pots, yes. Make sure it is mixed up. Okay. Hope I can get them open. I didn't think they have time to open them before he fell asleep. Oh, oh my God. I have to wake him up. Eileen, is there a secret to opening this? Oh my god. Ah, oh, got it. Shoo! That was hard to open. I almost was gonna recruit you. I was like, I'm gonna get this open. Oh that's weird. Is this I dropped it in, it stayed a it stayed a drop. Um. <laughs> it has an interesting, um, interesting smell to it. All right, so that one is um, blue, I guess. What color is that? No, that's black. Don't go by colors. I got to actually read it. This is brown. Ugh. Are you awake? I have to open, open all these for me. Hey, bandit. Okay, if you could come up and help me open these, it would be good. Oh, I don't know. Probably some walking or dogs or something. Ugh. Man. Super, need superhuman strength. That's brown. All these. Wow. That was really hard. They are hard. <laughs> what are you talking about? They really are. <laughs> All right. 
Thank you very much. I could not hardly, I mean, it's a really hard to open. <clears throat> Tom just said, yeah, that was hard. He's, he was saying it's not, and I'm saying it is. Hold on. I'm going to waste it. Yeah, he was he was down there snoozing because he uh, he was, had uh, was up at three in the morning on a call. Can you record on a Logic Logic Tech Cam without being live? Yeah, you basically um, you can you can do that and not go live. Yeah, you can keep it private, like. <laughs> You can when you first start it, you can you can make it private or public and you can use your webcam. If you make it private and not public, you can be on YouTube, record it and then load it up and then um, keep it on private until you're ready to release it. So, yeah, you can. So if you don't want to if you want to make that's I mean, I don't think there's anything um, that I don't have and know how to do any of the fast forwarding or whatever. I don't know if you can do that with a Logitech uh, webcam or if you need a regular um, camera for that. But, yeah, you could definitely uh, keep it private and um, record it without any live audience. All right, welcome back, Jean. Yeah, you because you when you first put your title in before you actually go to record it, it says, "Do you want it public or private?" You can click and oh, I like this one. This red's really pretty. I love this smell. This stuff smells really good. It's smell vision This definitely smells good. I feel like my water portions are way the heck off, as you can see. I'm going to add just a teeny bit more of the green. I feel like that green seems a little nothing like what the actual color is. See, I had very little water in that one, so I felt like I did not. So I would say be a little more accurate with your water. It would be helpful. <laughs> okay, that's all right. I like green, so I'm not, not too worried. Let me put, add a little bit more to this one. Okay, I was trying to be equal, but failed at that, apparently. I put a little more water in these. So we're, after we get these diluted, we're going to spray the eggs. And are we just going to sit them in the cups of uh, stuff, or do we want to, like, pour the stuff into other cups and then soak them that way or paint them on? You know what I mean? One part to four parts water. So you can actually just, I guess, have it as diluted or not diluted as you want then. Ooh, I like this color. All right, I'm going to screw the lids back on super tight so I can get them open again. It's funny you put it in there and before you mix it, it looks like a it looks like it's a solid sitting in there. It's so weird. Use some tong things and just dip them. Okay. 
Uh oh, might have had uh, pink in there. Made a made it weird. Let's see, no, it's okay. What is this? Oh, that's moss green. That's all right. That's all right. Never mind. Freak me out for a moment. I thought I still had the other color on. It's okay. Okay, two more to go. Oh, wouldn't that be cute? Have chicks poking out of it, a little one? That would be so cute. That would be super cute. But they'd have to be some really teeny tiny chicks. I mean, tiny. These things are little. I don't really know where you would find chicks that small. I guess I could scout out the, I guess I could scout out the, the Dollar Tree or Michael's or someplace for some itty bitty. I kind of glanced around, um, I glanced around, whoops, I almost spilled that, Joanne's while I was there for stuff that would maybe fit in a pod. I didn't quite see anything that would work, but it did enter my mind. And I uh, didn't have time to go anywhere else because I went to a couple other places besides Joanne's. Okay, ready. So we're going to dunk, we're going to dunk the pods. Yeah, we could print some off on the computer paper. Oh, then you can make paper ones. Hobby Lobby, they might have some little tiny ones at Hobby Lobby. Oh, that's a good point. They might have it. In the, they might have some miniatures in the kids section. Some pom poms and a beacon eye. So you're saying take the pod itself and make it into a chick by adding eyes. A beak in that and make this itself. Interesting. All right, need some tweezers. All right, I think I at least said I needed gloves. <laughs> All right, Vaughn, I'm putting on gloves, so I won't have icky fingers. <laughs> Welcome back. But I will show you what I bought today, why I was at Joanne's for another day. Do I look like a good surgeon? They are silk, uh, Jamie. Speaking of Easter eggs, look what I bought. They were 60% off. This was my unplanned purchase today. That's what uh, bad about me going shopping. Um, it's Easter craft, craftable eggs, and you can decorate them, and they're 60% off, and they had two of these left and some other stuff, so it's just a little, well, I actually have a hole in it, so I guess if you wanted to put strings in it, I don't know, but I actually bought some, this because it was 60% off. And I think what I'm going to do is Mod Podge um, like some napkins and stuff on them. And just for fun. So. So, yeah. So, I found a big jar of Easter 
craftable egg. So I thought we would do this sometime. So, but today we're going to do this. And I need to get some, maybe, uh, I guess, paper towels to sit the pods on. And then... I was thinking of Vaughn because, well, I was thinking, I saw them and I, and I was trying to decide whether to buy it or not. And um, and then I stood in line looking because at magazines and then I saw the magazine, uh, the uh, Daphne's Diary and they showed where they decoupaged the eggs and then I was like sold I get all these napkins everyone's been sending me all right so let's go with the pretty colors first so we're gonna just dunk it if we get on the inside Eileen or are we just doing the outside Let's do the whole thing. It'd be easier. Oh, I'm supposed to spritz it. Hold on. Back up the truck. Hold on. I need a regular tweezers. I'm going to be reaching out my fingers at this rate. Hold on. I forgot to back up the truck. I'm supposed to spritz some, and they told me that 10 times. Hold on. Spritz. Spritz the eggs, then dunk them in. That's what we're going to do. That makes sense because these are really, really dry. So. Leave it to me to do something I've never done before on stream. This could be a fail or a win. You never know. But Eileen gets me all excited about these new, new stuff I could try. I can't resist. I need to use more paint. You think it's too diluted? Okay. At least in the pink. Okay. I will do that. I mean, I got three more. Let me wet these, and then I'll add more to our to our mixture. Turquoise, my favorite color. Too much water. Yep. Yeah. I'm wearing gloves. Eileen told me to wear gloves, so apparently it's with, if she's telling me to wear gloves, it definitely means it's going to stay in my fingers. Where's my little paintbrush? Hold on. Try not to spill anything. I'm such a klutz. I want to spill stuff all over. Oop, it's starting to go now. Yeah, I just need a smidge more paint, I think. Okay, purple. 
This one probably needs more. That one's a little more full. Oh, it's so much fun. It's definitely like dying Easter eggs. More than that, I'm being... Con now, any other time, I always use an excessive amount of product, and then I'm like, she's telling me to use more. That never happens, people. This never happens. I use way too much, whoop, upside down, way too much product most of the time. And, um, oh, that one's starting to go. And this is one of those few times that I actually did not use enough product. Give me some alcohol inks, and I use 30 times what I'm supposed to be using. So, ooh, so much fun. We got all kinds of stuff. We're going to die. We're going to try the interfacing. We're going to try the cotton. We're going to try the ribbon. All right. What else do I need? Purple. Pretend, <laughs> pretend it's alcohol ink. <laughs> yeah, the alcohol inks, I go a little bit insane. Way too much. Yeah, now it's coloring better, Eileen. I went, I did, yeah, like that purple, I just added to it. Now it's like really going. Okay. So I'd say the hardest thing about if you're doing this is getting is getting the portions right. Ooh, yellow is going to be pretty. This one is uh, blue. There it is. No, I thought the blue. Blue's over here. Which color is this? Oh, this might be the black. This is the black. Sorry, I'm having trouble telling what the colors are. Okay, I just did the black. Let's see how the brown's doing. I don't think I. No, more brown. Wow. The one time I'm actually conservative. Who knew? Of course, this is the first time I've ever used these. So I've never used these before. And I've never dyed pods before. <laughs> so. First time using the product and the first time to dye pods. So double, double first times here. All right, how do I know when they're done? Like I just leave them in there like until I'm happy with the color. It's more of a, a, I guess, preference thing. So, the blue's starting to, that's looking good. I'm gonna lower my camera down just a smidge for you guys to see. Hold on. I can move everything within your eyesight here. All right. Well, I like the color. Okay. Let's 
the red. That looks pretty good. Look how I got like one blob. I could have been when I added that back in. I got like one little circle blob on it, but or I guess it could just this looks like a, a egg, right? Cute. Looks like a robin's egg. I'll have to send a brown pod to uh, Joycey, who likes moose poop. I'll have to make a brown pod for her. <laughs> I'm going to put more blue in of the Sienna, Cyan blue. I'm going to add more to that one. That one still looks light. Turquoise looks looking really good. Let me add more to this one. Well, once I have the portions right with these, then I, and I do all the rest of this stuff, I'll have it all good for the rest. Like, I have, oh, now it's working. Now we're cooking. Look how quickly that changed. So, you'll know if you got the portions right because it should change colors pretty quick. Brown or the black go. You can make <laughs> finger puppets with fuzzy fingers. <laughs> oh, fuzzy finger puppets. <laughs> Who could I make today? Ah, fuzzy finger puppets. I'm never going to grow up. Just decided I'm never going to grow up. I'm making fuzzy finger puppets. <laughs> so, I'm never going to grow up. Fragile Rock. All right, wasn't that a show, Fragile Rock? Fuzzy Wuzzy. Fragile Rock. Was it that show? Hey, Norma. What was that? What That sounds familiar. So I want to refresh my memory. Let's see the yellow. Okay, that one needs a little bit more, but I really like the yellow one, actually. Jim Henson. Thank you. So I'm like, that seems familiar. You. There we go. Yellow one needs some work. Woo! I don't want to mix my colors because I don't know what I'm mixing. It could be bad. All right. I think the pink was the first one I did. Let's pull that one out. So, also, we're dying the inside as well as the outside. So. Is it, it looks really light in the camera. It's not as light as it looks in the camera. It's a little, it's actually a little darker than what's in the camera. Why does the camera make it look so light there? I would like to get that one pinker. Oh, that one's pretty too. Okay, that one's looking good. I think this one I can take out and put another one in. This one looks good. So I think I'll take this one out. And I'll drop another. Whoop, wet it. Drop another one in. No! <gasps> oh shit! I was afraid I was gonna do that. I was so afraid I was gonna do that. Hold on, back up. Sorry for the cussing, but I just had a minor disaster here. 
Hold on. <laughs> like, oh boy. Pod down. Yeah, I just realized I'm going to lay the pod on something else. It did pull the color off the paper towel. I saw that. I'm going to lay it on something else. I did notice that as soon as I picked that up. Okay, I'm going to lay the pot over here and leave it on the mat. Yep. Don't do it. I just did. I told you time I'll do this. Then Kathy, she'll go. Kathy will start this and she'll go in and have perfect pods where I had to find out the hard way <laughs> how much paint to use. I'll be the one like learning the hard way. Okay. Set that aside. Drop wet one. Yeah, Kathy be like, what do I do? And then I'll be like, Oh, I know what to do now because I messed the others up. I'll tell her not to pour out the stuff onto uh, the surface. That's the first thing not to do is don't dump it. You can heat dry one and then soak it again. <laughs> okay. All right, let me dry a couple that's laying over here then. Let's try that. I'll leave that one. So I've replaced the purple, the turquoise, and this one. Those are the new ones. Oh, I like this blue one. I like this in. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. Yes. Spray, spray, spray. You can dip the ends and other colors after. Oh, after it's dry, or I could do it now. I guess I could do it now. Okay, let's try that. Stop the water. Okay. All right. I am going to do is put, I did spill this one. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Think multi- Died like a Easter egg. Okay. This makes great sun printing too. I don't know how to sun print with fabric ink. There's Kathy. Yeah, Kathy, you'll know what to not to do when you do and you get yours. <laughs> you'll learn by my mistakes. 
You have to dilute the paint. But I diluted my paint too much and had to add more to it. So don't over dilute it like I did. That's the hard part is getting, you got yours. That's the hard part, I think, is getting the water ratio with, with this fabric paint right, at least for these eggs. Set the wet colored fabric out in the sun and things like bottle caps, rings on it, and it will be sun printed. Really? So it's going to be wet. So you, so you use like muslin that you basically would soak with a color and then you lay stuff on that and then on that fabric that's dyed and that's wet with the color on the sun. Interesting. Ah, shit. Shoot, sorry. <laughs> this one's like like darker on one side than the other. Uh, I don't know why that is. All oh, the wind and stuff that you're going to have, um, Gene, that's what we had this weekend. Ah, my tweezers get stuck on the uh, fabric. Okay, so we did blue, pink, purple. So let's do a half a turquoise. Then I'm going to dry it, and then Jamie said I can re-dunk it when it's dry. So if I want them darker, I can dry it and then make them darker. Okay, they're all empty now. Almost. Ah, damn it. It's the brown and my pink. Okay. Where's my heat gun? Now, hopefully, I don't blow the pods everywhere. <laughs> oh. <laughs> pods blowing off my table. Okay. That's not a bad idea. Put a piece of tape under each one so you don't spill it. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. All right.
There's all different companies that make the pods on uh, Amazon. Yeah, they're called silkworms. I probably should um, change my title to my YouTube thing being silkworm pods. I probably, if I don't have it on there, I probably should change that. And then what also I've seen on Pinterest, you can just take a fine liner, um, a fine liner and just hand paint the pods and paint designs on top, of either the, on top of the white ones or on top of the color ones. You could get some black paint uh, or black fabric paint and fine liner and just paint designs on it. Kathy said there better be no worms in hers. <laughs> that would be stinking hilarious. That would be so hilarious if she had worms in them. Just saying. I forgot about this one. Hold on. But you can always uh, feed them to your dog, <laughs> right? Can you imagine? Just saying. <laughs> they would look like trolleys. Don't think they taste like trolleys. I keep forgetting I shouldn't be laying them on the, don't lay them on the paper towel like super soaked like I just did because the paper towel will soak up the dye or paint. Don't do it, I just did.
Yeah, I think so. I think they turned out great. I, actually, I'm really happy with all of them. I think when you're going to double dunk and um, do multiple colors, I think it, it, um, you're going to have to, like, be patient, you know what I mean, and hold it there and so you get the color you want and dry it and add to it. I think it's going to require requires a little bit of patience, I think. Like this one, the inside's still white. So if you do what I'm doing and you've done this step where you're dunking them and not soaking them, then the inside is mostly staying white. And then the ones that I dunked are colored all the way through. I'm going to dry the rest of these. I keep them out of the other ones because they suck up the paint. Now I need a little egg drying rack. <laughs> that would make my life a lot easier. If I had a little egg drying rack happening. <laughs> it's kind of complicated to dry these because you're trying not to get the other paint onto it if you lay it down. Now, what Eileen did with hers, oh, on the Easter eggs, try alcohol eats. That's a great idea. I didn't think about Debbie. Put them in a stocking, tie it off, and put in the dryer for a bit. Now, Eileen took and did um, beads and sequins. She sewed on top of the pods. Uh, you definitely could sew um, through this really easy. So it's like she hand sewed the um, pods with, um, like I said, sequins and little beads and um This one got a little bit of black on it. See, that's the only thing. If the pods touch each other or roll in the other die, it picks up the colors. Popsicle sticks and foam. That's a good idea. Yeah, that blue one's really good. That turquoise, that's definitely my favorite. This is a really light, uh, like a lime, lime green. Sorry. And then um, the purple, actually, the all oh, the purple, this one turned out pretty good, too. This is pretty dark. Uh, bye, Joy C. Thanks for coming, hon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pods and I'm going to glue, uh, glue or stitch some yarn to mine and I'm going to make mine, I'm going to hang mine off of a dream catcher. I'm going to make like a mini dream catcher and I'm going to hang the pods off of the dream catcher. This is what I'm going to do with mine. It's really pretty cool. The pods are really inexpensive, like 
to buy. So if you want to experiment and play. These, I uh, really like the yellow, too. This, These were only $7 for a bag of 20. So it's an expensive. Um, as long as you have fabric paint, it's an expensive play, really. You could probably put some glitter on top of them. You could probably stickle on top of it. You could paint on top of it. I saw some really pretty designs. I could paint some flowers on them. I love the idea of painting some flowers. Um, you could do like I could do little uh, peace signs on them. Yeah, I'm gonna put mine. I'm gonna put mine on a dream catcher. Oh, that one got picked up blue on the end. I think that's what I'm going to do with mine. It's going to be neat. I'm going to make a little mini dream catcher. And I'll try to do is um, I'm going to take some yarn and I'm going to drop the yarn in these cups so I have matching yarn and to tie on these. You're going to make dangly things for tags and journals and put the rest in the wood. Exactly. I love the idea of putting painting on these and then uh, put them in a bowl to look at. I like, I love that idea. I think these are, I think these pods are so cool because what I was doing earlier, like the cute little um, cup that I got from Lena, you know, it's like I'm going to paint these. I can put them in my little cup on my desk. You put them in a little, um, also I have like, you have something like this, like a little pottery bowl. Yeah, you could paint these and just have these just for people to look at. And I definitely think I want to paint some designs on mine with some fine liners. And like I said, I'm going to make mine to a dream catcher. I love the idea of hanging these out of a, the, a journal. You could also, um, if you're going to send these out, you could also hang them on a tag with, along with little fuzzy stuff. Yeah, I, yeah, a clear bowl, I agree, Jean. A clear glass bowl would be the best idea. I think these pods are fascinating. They really are. I love these. I think they're really neat. I've never... I've never used like done anything like this before, and I love them. I think they're neat. I love the idea of um, having something new to paint and try and play with. probably attach paper to them. You can use these for flower centers. You found an itty bitty and everything you could do like when I hang these off my dream catchers what I might do um, is something like I'll show you. So I make a little dream catcher. And then you get some little, um, let me find a bigger pod. It's dry. And it has some little um, pods like this. And, I can, and then I can glue like that, glue the flowers into the pod. And then, like I said, you have to glue on, obviously, so it don't fall out. And then you can hang it, and then I'm gonna hang, like I said, I'm gonna have a string, and I'm gonna make a hang this from a dream catcher. You could put little, you could put little artificial flowers in them. And if you really wanted to, you could glue a jewelry pin on the back of it, and you could pick your, find you some little flowers or whatever, and you could glue a, a you know, I mean, a pin for your shirt on the back. And you could actually wear this on Easter and have a homemade pen. 
I see all kinds of possibilities. You're just going to have to uh, open your mind up to um, ideas of using them for vases or just for a little. It's, it's no different than painting something like painting rocks. If you, you know, people will paint rocks and put, you know, it's no different than that. You could paint on them just like you would paint on rocks. You could stitch on these. If you're embroidery, someone who does embroidery, um, you could definitely do some hand stitching on this. Like uh, you could do something elaborate to something simple. Um, I see all kinds of possibilities. Like it's, it's if you're holding them and looking at them like in person, you you can kind of get ideas, but you could definitely do some little stitching, you could put on some little rub-ons on them. And um, yeah, I see lots of ideas for these actually. I like them. I'm probably going to get some more. I'm probably going to wish after I ordered them, I was like, I'm probably going to wish I bought the 100 of them and not the 20 of them. Yeah, you can, yeah, exactly. Attach them to canvas, make them look like 3D. And actually, there is a, something I pinned on Pinterest like that where they put them on a canvas to make them like 3D. Oh, yeah, one inside the other. Okay. Let me get them all dry first so I don't have, like, the colors mixing. Unless, like, the ones that we did mix on purpose. Hold on. Let me dip this one. I'm going to dip this one in the yellow. I like the yellow. You dip the other side. I forgot to dip this other one. Yeah, you can put one inside the other. You could definitely make this into a necklace really easy. Have you seen where they sell the little vases to put little mini succulents and stuff in them? And then they wear them for necklaces. I don't know if alcohol inks would go onto these or not because I don't know how alcohol inks do on fabric. Well, I already died on mine. We'll have to, we'll have, since uh, Kathy has 100 of them or 90 of them, we'll make Kathy do some alcohol inks on them. <laughs> Look, Kathy figured that out. You can cut the top off one smaller to fit inside okay yeah these would be easy to cut oh these are so cute i love these getting them all dry here And when dangle beads uh, from the inside, Def yeah, you definitely could dangle beads on these. Actually, you could glue uh, some of the beads um, on the outside of it. It's going to be really cool. I'm going to hang these on a dream catcher. It's going to be so cool when I get done. I have like the little metal rings. It's gonna look so cool. And it's always gonna have people going, what is that? What are they? You know, like they're gonna notice it because they're not gonna know, you know, anything about pods. So You might be able, I don't know, you might be able to decoupage these. You probably could decoupage these if you wanted to. You could just leave them white and paint them. You don't have to, you don't have to completely cover them. Like this one um, got like mixed with a couple other colors when it was laying there. I mean, it doesn't have to be 
it doesn't have to be perfect. So, I mean, it just depends on the look you want. So this one, see this one still has some white on it. It's got, I mean, this one I put a little yellow, a little green, or maybe it was blue. I can't remember, but kind of use your, you know, it depends on what colors you own and what kind of look you want. All right. If you want it, since and it kind of looked like kind of when once they're dry, let me wipe up some of this over here because I don't recontaminate any of them. Um, they kind of look like when you see them close up, they kind of look like fish scales almost. Um, you could definitely my my gloves take away from it, but you could definitely. I love, I don't know if I get up close so you can see the texture. Keep there. So when you see, you guys are seeing them from far away, but they have some really cool texture. And because it absorbed a little differently depending on how it was sitting in the cup, but it has really cool, yeah, like, like Jamie said, it's blurry. What Jamie said is you could re-dye these, get them dry, and keep re-dyeing them until you get the color you want. So let's try one inside the other. Like this purple and black. Let's see. This is the smallest one I have. This is pretty small. I might have to cut it. You can make tassels um, for a journal, similar to photo. Yeah. With microbeads. Yeah, you could totally do that. With my, yeah, so there's some microbeads on here. I'm trying to think how I want to do this. There you go. So you can put one inside the other. Yeah, I love the idea of making these into little vases. I totally love this idea of making these into um, making these into little vases and hanging these off. I, I love this idea. I mean, look at this. Look how cute that is. So I love these. I think these are really cool. You got to have some creativity and imagination and, and you know, I think it, you can figure it out as you go along what you want to do with them. You can ink the edges. Yep. You can make these into little animals. Cut the top off one with a zigzag. I don't have a zigzag scissors or any of that anymore. If you, have, if you had the decorative scissors, you could do that, which I don't have. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't have any. Let's see. Ink the edges. Yeah, I think you would treat it like you would, um, like you would other other uh, mixed media things. Yeah, you're like, oh, I could stamp on it. I can ink it. I can paint it. Yeah, you could distress it. And get you. Uh, I haven't tried it, but you might be able. I don't know if the Tim Holtz oxides or whatever would work or not or the sprays you know i don't know if any of the unless you have to have fabric spray which there is fabric spray so um 
but I mean, you can also just edge it like you would in here. So you might be able to find, you might be able to find little, um, little birds or something. I don't know. I don't collect miniatures, but if you went to a, if you have miniatures, like someone like uh, Jennifer that used to make all the miniature, um, miniature stuff. Yeah, she could totally make something out of these. Yep, you could you could etch on them. I'm just gonna try to stamp one moment just to see. Now I'm gonna have to curve it because obviously I can't use the. Hold on. And think about this and use some brains. Hold on. Okay, well, that didn't work too much. The stamp's kind of a bust. Hold on. I think because of the grain. That definitely is a, I mean, you definitely, I mean, something, It there's something on there, but it really didn't pick up the design. I think it's got too much, it's got too much texture, you know what I'm saying? So let's play with, good night, Debbie. Yeah, G, I think you just got to like think out of the box of um, sewing, sewing charms on them, using his little bases. Put pins on the back and pin them on your shirt. I think they'd be super cute little um, fun things for to wear. I used to wear pins all the time for the holidays. I used to love wearing pins. I remember I went through a pin phase and I had all kinds of pins. Let's try. Let's try some of the bias with this fabric paint. I find my brush. I'm always open to uh, new possibilities and new things to try. I love trying new things. Good night, Debbie. Yeah, just go on Pinterest and you'll see all kinds of ideas. And like I said, I'm new at this. So when I, I will make some stuff with this and I will be sure to show it on my future YouTube and Pinterest. Uh, not Pinterest, I mean Instagram. I love these colors. Now, if you wanted to, you'd be like the Vaughn over there, and you could you could probably mix these and make other colors with these. If you wanted more colors, I'm happy with what's here, but that is always a um, possibility. They do blend. I mean, I'm just going on and on down here and just picking. I'm just trying out, um, just trying out each color and it works really nice on this bias tape. This is like having custom ribbon. And then you could, um, then you, when you're done, you can 
probably stamp on this. Write on it, stamp on it. Whatever you want to do. Whatever your heart's content. Now, I kind of have dark colors down here. I mean, a color order might not make a lot of sense, but I'm just trying all the colors out together. I mean, but if you have a, you know, if you're doing, let me get my camera fired and see what I'm talking about. So if you're doing a tie-dye bright color, obviously you would go with this side, which is all the purples and blues and pinks. Or, you know, I mean, like, this is definitely tie-dye more. But if you're going with the, you have a darker layout, then you, we put it down easier. And then you use these. But, like I said, I wanted to try this out. I really like the idea of, of doing your own. This soaked it in really quick. Let's dry it. Let's we'll see how it looks. I like this fabric. I want to see. I'm going to do some yarn. Oh, I like that. Little lanterns in a fairy garden. I love that idea. Did I wet this first? No. Was I supposed to? I did not. I just put it straight on the bias tape without wetting it. Or whatever this stuff is. Um, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, bias tape, yeah. I didn't want it, I just put it straight down. I really like the ombre effect. I like the, uh, I like this group of colors together, the pink, purple, blue, yellow, kind of rainbow-ish. I think it looks good to about here, or maybe here. I think I like this half. As far as colors, where this is like darker colors. All right, let's try. Hold on. Let's try this felt. Is the other thing I want to try. Wet, so it's it blends. Okay, well, I'll go back and I'll wet it. I'll wet another piece, I mean. So, let's just see how it works. This is a uh, uh, felt made from um, recycled bottles. So, which I think is super cool. So, if you wanted to cut some different shapes out or leaves or whatever... You can have custom dyed felt, sew this on, cut out, sew it. I like this. That's neat. It goes on there really good. Yeah, it dyes fabric. Pour it on. Are you crazy? Goes <laughs> size wood and leather too. Okay, so this is the recycled felt. Okay, let me set this aside a minute. From bottles. All right, this is regular felt. I was basically grabbing um, a lot, anything white, <laughs> so I think I also have some muslin over there. I'm gonna I'm gonna use too. I'm gonna try some muslin. Just see if we can do it. Uh, how many things we can dye with the fabric paint? <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
So that goes in. That, um, I, think I didn't have to use um, as much with this as I did this. So this is more porous. This is less porous. But I do like the little ridges, though. Wet the felt, pour it on, and let it blend. It gets real. It gets really gets in the fabric. You need to wash the fabric to get the sizing off of it. Oh well, psh. did not do that. Well, this probably has sizing on it too. Um, this is a um, oh, what do you call this? duck um duck fabric duck cloth yeah so there where we got the pink and the blue and then when you blend when they meet in the middle it turns purple so there's some duck cloth So I like how that turned out. They are bright. Now this is fusible. Oh, look at that pretty purple. So see, let's just soak that up. This is the interfacing. For some reason, Eileen painted it, and that's where I got the idea that you paint interfacing i guess then you uh i need something like this off so i switch colors i guess so then you can um i guess you stitch it or glue it on so i don't know what you do after you paint this eileen i guess paint it and then use it in your journal what well, it sure soaks it in fast I like how it absorbs it 100 miles an hour. Yeah, just use it in your journals. Okay. And that's neat. I, this like really just soaks it up fast. I like this interfacing. Try not to um, touch some of the colors to touch. I don't know how well some are going to mix. I like this. This I really like, Eileen. I could see why you, you were doing this. I really like this duck cloth. I think that looks good, too. I like the idea of custom dyeing. If you got, you know, you want purple fabric, but you don't have it, and you have this dye, I'm um, sorry, this paint, you could just get some muslin and make it the color you need it. This is neat. I like it. This this is fun. I can see this getting addictive because this is really, it feels it feels neat, just like it's way it's the texture, way it's absorbing the paint. That yeah, green don't look good there. Need a different color. Mm -hmm. I don't know what color I want to grab. I guess I'll grab more pink right here. So it's a lot like if you were painting the painting little blobs on your journal that then you were going, you know what I mean? Then you write on it when you're done. 
acrylics there a lot of people do this well they do little sections i like this i like this stuff i like the interfacing this is definitely this definitely it just soaks it up like nothing oh i like this now let me dry this mint It is light. It this is lightweight. I have some of that, that brown stuff. That's a really good idea, Kathy. If I could find mine real fast, that's a great idea, actually. I think about that. Hold on. That dries really quick. Look how pretty that is. I love that it's see-through. So if you wanted to put it over, let's see, if you find something. Uh, Alright, how would it be if I stamp one of them on here? Can I stamp on this, Eileen? I mean, it's I mean, like if you have her on here, like I can see the colors all the way through like the fabric. I can see the color showing all the way through my tissue paper. I don't know if I can stamp on this or not. Can I stamp on it, Ali? Try it. You don't know? Okay. She doesn't know. Well, we'll see if it works. If not, you could probably... If not, well, we could... Um, I mean, I can try to Mod Podge this down if I cut it out better, too. I mean, I didn't fussy cut by any means, but. But, the van, you know, I like the idea that um, the colors, especially since this one is like a solid um So let me stamp in the and try that. Daddy Van wax the tissue first. They do look like Easter eggs, right? Aren't they pretty? Right, hold on, I cut a piece of craft text here. Too. And we'll put that there. 
Danny Van. Don't did it. Danny Vans take a little while to let me put the lid on this. To dry though. First, let's try to stamp real quick. Because Kathy was using that earlier, and I know that she was waiting for it to dry. may not show up on the craft text. Okay. Only enough room we can maybe mod put the other one on too. stamped and with the color the cut her out oh nice oh I like that you see my gloves here a bit look at that oh, I need a white piece of paper so let me find a piece of white card stock so you can put that on Now, this is styrofoam, but you'll get the gist. I mean, that way you can kind of get the gist. How look how pretty that is! Oh, I think I could be hooked on this, Eileen. The interfacing with these fabric paints and then stamping on them. Oh boy, these could be great on tags and your journals. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like it, as Joy says. <laughs> I like it. Oh, that's nice. I'm so that that could go on journals, tags. Oh my gosh, you're genius. You're a genius, Eileen. Who knew? Paint on interfacing with fabric dyes and then boom, paint. Oh, I love it. I love that see through. So, you could, depending on your background, now let's see if we can. Let me put this in a journal real quick. Uh, let's see just for example uh hold on i need a tissue oh wait i have tissue right here ah cute okay oh look at that one. Oh yeah look at that that looks, oh, it'd be good if you could see. I'm trying not to knock over my cups. <laughs> and look how, where this picks up um, the flowers in the background. See why I'm moving it like this yellow? Oh, I like the yellow. See how the yellow is really light and picking up the colors? Let's see it here. Oh, I mean, you can see, oh my gosh. So, I mean, look how like uh, just simple that was to do and to lay it on um, Dina Wakeley's journal. 
and whatever's behind it is now the showpiece. You know what I'm saying? Oh, everyone should be should be dying interfacing. Just saying. Oh my goodness. I mean, it looks good on all of these. There's nothing this doesn't look bad on. Yep. Buy a whole bolt of this. Just saying. <laughs> I mean, it looks because of the colors I picked now. That doesn't look so good, obviously, because at the back, you know, means a match. But there is black and brown. So, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Hello, hello, hello. Um, perfect. And then there, let's say you did on this one, which is just black and white images. We can line her head up with a flower. Now she's a flower head. <laughs> she's a flower head. There you go. Yeah, so, boom. Oh, oh, I love the yellow. Love the yellow. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. So, there you go. Everyone, uh, dye interfacing and stamp on it. Or draw on it. I guess you could draw on it. Let's see. First, let me get a pen. There you go. Those of you who like to draw, there you go. You can draw on it too. So if you don't want to stamp, you could actually just draw on it. Yeah, I like it. And then you're kind of, I think the neat thing about it is, is you're, you're having the colors on top of colors and draw like, Nothing is um, covered, you know, I mean, nothing, and it changes depending on your background, even though it, it, these are what, blues, purples, pinks. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, just saying. <laughs> right, Jamie? I know, it's just, this could be... Disasters. I don't want to knock these over. I've already done that one. If I do that, you're going to hear a lot of cursing. Just saying. I would say if that happens, hold your ears. All right. So let's try the craft text real quick. This looks good, actually. This is still wet. I can't really stamp on that yet. That's still wet. Let's just see what happens. Um, I have no idea. I haven't used this. I think I bought this when What's-Her-Name was making books. white i didn't oh wow both of my rolls are brown i don't i didn't even know it came in white good to know miss jean Let's go with the, let's use a darker color. Shows up to me. 
I mean, it's not as dark as obviously as what it was on a, is on a pod, but it does work. It's not super, super duper colorful, but it does work. Kind of looks more green now mixed with the brown. And she said, yeah, it kind of looks green now. Let's put this on. Maybe you should gesso it first. If you gesso it, then it would end up being the true color. There. Hold on, let me dry that. Good night, Norma. Well, if you dry it, it does soak in like you, you saw it was moving around. And the craft tech does absorb it. So and it doesn't like bleed through, but you can see where the craft text does work. And it did absorb it. Now this brown distorted the color slightly, but I just added more of a different blue and it looks fine. So we wanted to try some I don't know, some drips or something just for fun. Do little, you know, do whatever. I mean, it's craft text. You can sew on this stuff. You can paint on it, make book covers with it. Um. So, I never did much with it other than buy it. So, <laughs> honestly, say. I'm really bad. Let me get a couple of tags to see how those look. I'll soak up with playing in there. Here's a, uh, let's put some color down. This is a die cut. Um, die cut I got from Sandra, let's try the fabric paint on the die cut. It works really well. It works on, I mean, obviously you can use a million other things for paper. Uh, besides paper for it, but I mean, if you got lay in here, soak it up and use it on uh, on paper too. Well, especially like if you wanted everything to coordinate, you could go ahead and do it. Because obviously, I'm gonna be have all this extra paint. I'm gonna be figuring out how I can save it. So, yeah, so it works on paper too. Yeah, these are PBO. PBO, uh, these are the light fabrics. 
They have different ones. There's glitter, opaque, shimmer, and suede effects. And this one is the light fabric PBO. And Eileen was kind enough to, to purchase this for me and, uh, and send this to me. It's really thoughtful. It's really nice. I so appreciate it, Eileen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, the next thing, that's what Eileen said. I don't know what die cut uh, the Z used for that, um, actually. Oh, I know I wanted to try. I was wanting to try yarn. Oh, yeah, and uh, muslin. I have, I have a bunch of that, too. There you go. Look at that. That worked really well. I just dyed the yarn. And that, like, literally took seconds. Now, I have a few white spots, probably where I rang it out. So you could do half. Let me try a half and half string color here. Oh, gosh. Thank you. That was it, Vaughn. Cheesecloth. Thank you for reminding me. Hold on. I'll lay this aside one second. That was it. Cheesecloth. Thank you. Gauze netting. Is that different than gauze? You mean, oh, you mean like medical gauze? Boy, this is quick. I guess it's super quick for coloring the fabric. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I just realized I cursed out loud again. Sorry. Holy smokes. Sorry. I'm all excited. Look how quick. Ah, 
Look how quickly, look how quickly this died. I mean, a matter of just slop, slop, done. I mean, done. That quick. In a matter of seconds. Oh, my gosh. In a matter of seconds, I just did this piece of fabric. Why can't I find my cheesecloth? I literally have a whole bowl of cheesecloth. And I got to find it. I am sorry for cussing. I just don't think sometimes. All right. I do cuss and I'm mad. I just got all like, woo. -hoo! Okay, let's try a piece of lace. Try some doily. Oh, garden center. That's nice, CB. So exciting. Well, all this warm temperatures in spring, and you get to you're gonna be working on your uh, art things you do. I never can pronounce it and i definitely would not be able to spell it if i, I wouldn't even begin to type it in the chat if i was <laughs> in chat i'd be like nope not even trying this is a piece of uh, lace look at that so if you want to make like everything coordinate Look how quick that is. This is some really thick lace. Right? I mean, look at the doily, too. You could just buy white doilies. And then you could make them whatever color um, you needed to be. And you wouldn't have to buy like a bunch of multicolors. You just, if you had to dye, just buy white ones and dye them the color you want them to be. You know, if you wanted to have them be uh, brown. Because you're joicy and you go, I like brown. So... If you had a Victorian, I don't know, old background tea bags, you know, there you go. Then you can, you don't have to, I'm picking all the bright colors, but obviously you don't have to do that. So look how quick that dyes it, like fast. This is good stuff. This is really good stuff. Doing a Halloween page. There you go. There's some black. Actually, it kind of looks gray. And I like gray a lot. Oh, see? It actually looks more gray because you'd have, if you want more black, you would go darker. But look how quick that is. And look how much I still have sitting in my cups. 
And I've done eggs and fabric and all kinds of stuff. And look how much I've left. I've done, uh, tried this, duck cloth. I did um, use a little here. I also did it on the bias tape. Look how quick it dies, everything. Like, it's fast. And it even colored the tire, the the brown paper, which she wasn't sure if that would work or not. And it even worked on that. So this is good stuff. Uh, if I can just find the gauze and then find out how good that is and find it. Well, let's get it real quick over here. I can't believe I misplaced that. It makes me so mad when I do that. Well, I guess another day we'll try it with the gauze when I cheesecloth when I find it. I might actually have gauze tape. We're going to try the ribbon. I didn't do the ribbon yet. Let me do that too. Hold on. I was going to try the uh, ribbon too. That's why I don't like wearing gloves. Like you can't do anything. Oh, the rag paper. Okay. Got it. How long was she yelling that at me? <laughs> was, she, was she yelling at that for a while? Or I saw it? An hour? <laughs> <laughs> she was yelling at me for an hour. That looks actually that, yeah, that's pretty good. It definitely um it definitely um moves like watercolor, so Pay if it's wet now once it otherwise it's just gonna suck it up if it's at first. So you definitely want to wet it. Nice. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, so that um, handmade uh, cotton paper. Oh, my ribbon's sucking it up laying here. Yep. And if you look, I mean, it doesn't, I mean, it starts to go through, but that's only because I got a lot on the edges, but it's, they're like a. Yeah, 
Wow, that did good. I like it. And she's like watercolor paper. Ooh, I'm doing a. I only know what I'm doing. I'm just doing stuff. I like it. It's actually a little darker. Um, closer up, it looks really light, far away, but you can see it's layers as you want. It's really not that. It's wet, but it's not super so. If that been watercolor paper, it been drenched for sure. Though this is silky. I don't know how it's gonna work on this. This is like a silky ribbon. I guess I should have got a cotton ribbon. may it might repel it it might not i don't know how good this i didn't think about the fact that the ribbon is um poly, polyester or something so let's see it's taking it's not great but it is working i think you probably want to dry let me dry it and then we'll put another layer on it you work fine yeah maybe they might have it just for silk yeah this is a satiny stuff it's, it's definitely but it is working I mean, because this did start off white, so I mean, it is working. This is, um, it doesn't look super red, but this is the red. It is working. I just don't think it's uh, going to absorb it like something cotton, but yeah, this is working. And then this is kind of thin, which is kind of nice. So if you did not want a thick layer of ribbon and you just need something uh then this would be nice let's see if we can stamp on it while i'm done it's something permanent That's what I was thinking. I could add more color on top. Like the pod. Let's see. Where's the... It's starting to curl from the heat. Ooh, I like that. Hold on, I'm going to make it curl on purpose. Yeah, that's gnarly. And then it's gnarly. Look at that. How cool is that? Good night, Jamie. Hey, she said it would melt. <laughs> but look, it melted in a cool fashion. 
Good night, Doc. Good night, Jamie. I melted it on purpose. It's all gnarly looking. That's actually really cool, melted. This is neat, all melted. I like it. It's it's really cool. I think this would be neat. So then you could stitch this down on a project all gnarly or glue it down. Oh, I like it actually melted and stained. Now, yeah, I guess I'm going to not be able to try the other stuff because I can't find it. <laughs> I cleaned up the really good and don't know where I put it. But I think we did the Conrad. Um, let's see. The only other thing we haven't tried. Let's try. Um, let's try this. Let's try a piece of the. Let's try a piece of this paper. The, the handmade paper. So this is like doing the envelopes. Oh. That makes sense, CB. That's why I like the, the envelopes she showed were all like, like gnarly looking. And so you could do that with this ribbon. How stinking cool is that? <laughs> Mary, I said, you go, girl. <laughs> oh, if you get it too wet, it tears really easy. Get it dry before you pick it up after soaking it. Just learn that lesson. It's definitely you got to get it dry again. It just tore. This may not work too well with the handmade paper. May make it too weak. I don't know. We'll keep drying it and see what happens. Or you got really, 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 really dry it. It's okay. You just gotta really dry it. Else you'll tear it like I did there. Don't be impatient. There's the handmade paper. So you can do that. You just make sure it's dry before you pick it up because it will tear, but because it weakens it. So then you could take, if you bought white uh, paper, you could use the fabric dyes on this too because you can see the little cotton fibers in it so oh i'm gonna be doing this like on one of my little cards or something i think i might be like gluing this on here doing something like that this may be going in my little binder book because it's so cool this may be uh maybe putting this in my binder book 
or something. Or on a tag. Okay, medical tape. Let me get my gloves off so I can actually pull this loose. Dude, my hands are sweating. This is a lot like the handmade paper, so it should work. Are you wanting me to do that? All right. She wants me to dump it on some fabric. Ooh, scary. All right. We'll dump it on some fabric. Lordy. I'm a little scared, but we'll do it. <laughs> a tiny bit at a time. Wear <laughs> protection. All right, I'm going to put my pods up before we do this. Anything I don't want messed up. Eh. All right, let I, I me mean, pile up my stuff out of the way here. Move all my experiments. Now, do you want me to dump it on the... Um, Interfacing too and the fabric, Eileen. I could dump it on uh, I could dump it on both. Don't say the cups of color. That makes sense. Because that's going to, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. That's true. Let's see my camera. All right, let me put my glove back on. You know, it makes my hands sweaty. <laughs> Hold on. Ah, should have taken it off the other way and set inside out. Okay. like this and then make it like some like a tie-dye you know what I'm saying where you like scratch it and then make it like tie-dye should I wet the fabric first or just dump it on the dry fabric
All right, add in the fabric. It will do like it'd be like a tie dye. So maybe, maybe. Okay. Where is it? I need a rubber band, right? Do I need rubber bands? Is that how you do the tie dye? Like, uh, don't I like do like knots in it? Like, Why not save the paint? Uh, because I don't know what I would put it in. And if I use fabric or I'm going to put some on that interfacing, I'll use it. I'll save it and use it. It won't go to waste. All right. We'll do this. They will also do some with that, but I thought let's just do this for fun and just see. Let me put a piece of fabric under it to catch it too. magnolia flower cool Jet. It's it's funny. Just saying. All right, that'll be my tie dye. We'll leave this dry and then I can untie this and see what it looks like tomorrow. I want to do with some of the leftover too. So I'm going to quickly, I really like this, I'm going to quickly do what's left here and paint on this because I love this stuff painted. So let's use this up.
Ew, it looks like slime. Slime. Now let's go to some bright colors. Let's do... Yellow. To pipe bets. Well, and I barely used any of those uh, fabric dye, fabric paint, and look how, like, look how far it went. I mean, I'm trying to use up. So when you mix this up, you really don't need, like, you really don't need that much. So this is really concentrated. So I can see why that these were a good value because they're really concentrated and will go and last a long time. Let me dry this a little bit before I pick it up, and then I'll do some more here. I love this stuff. I This is, my, I think, my favorite experiment is, is using this and the pods. The pods in this is just, like, so cool. I like where this turned purple right in through there. I mean, look how much I still have left. do something with this. Hold on. I got to do something with all these drippy drips. I need to go get, I need a journal. I'm going to shake this out because I'm going to lay this on my mat on the floor because it's going to take a while to dry. Hold on. Let me unfold this. Crap, crap, crap. Sticking. Hold on. Hold on. Don't do this to me. It's sticking. Hold on. Oh, God. I'm sticking this way. Lordy. Okay. These are dry. This is all dry. We move all this dry. I have like a mat that I stand on. That's why I'm laying this stuff on. Oh, I'm laying uh, all this wet stuff on this, on this kitchen mat.
Get a piece of watercolor paper, do this mac and drag. Okay. Uh, smack and drag without smacking over the other ones? Let's find out. I know. Aren't they pretty? All the little droplets because they're beating up on the mat. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to do these. Hold on. Hold on. I forgot these. I'll drop these in too, and then I'll push these off. I'll put these in one of these cups to dry. A little fuzzy pom poms. These could be cute little, um, cute little plant thingies. Oh, they almost look like grapes. Okay. I'll drop them in here. Oop, now I have a grape color down. Hold on. Ooh, handprints too. Oop, there's a little thing. Another one. Make some of these blue, and I could use them for the river page. Whoa! Well, that works. <laughs> oh, using a purple now. Just spill it. <laughs> I'm gonna have the fabric around. Uh, I'm gonna take this blob on. Uh, lay this down on my paper or on the mat to dry for to see how that looks tomorrow. That's as bad as jelly printing. Holy moly. Like, where do I lay it all? I don't know. Oh, there's a tag laying over here. I could do a tag, too. Some tags that Sharon sent. So you might want to mix up a little less than what I did <laughs> if you, when you make these. Just saying. I got some really cool fabric. Hold on.
<laughs> this is the fun part. You've been waiting all along. And she's got to pee. Are you going to pee or you got to pee? All right, let's make some black bias tape or gray. Ooh, I like the black drips. Why do I wear gloves, Eileen? <laughs> I did listen that time. His mom would be over here trying to wash my hands. Because they would be a mess. This piece is really cool. I like this. So it's kind of embellish it. I actually like this, like, this ridge. Be like, it's a mountain. Nope, it's not. Yes, it is. All right. You wouldn't come near me? Ah, what's the fun in that? You don't want to look behind me then. I have a weedy bit of a mess on the floor. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on. Hold on. Don't look fun.
<laughs> Sharon's like, uh, yeah. Uh. Oh, Eileen knew it was probably going to happen to me at some point. I'm sure she figured I was going to spill it and just do something awesome. She's been waiting for this, so. <laughs> she knew I would end up spilling it because, you know, I have to put brown on here. I'm going to get another piece of fabric. I don't know if I want to put brown on here. There's a spill on there. It will work. Let me get another piece of fabric. Oh, maybe I use watercolor paper. And something right like kind of see like a, a creature or some sort isn't that freaky it's freaky like a buffalo buffalo cow Susan out. I think Joycey would like you this. So, just saying. Buffalo. All right. Put the laps on. Oh, there it is. Hold on. Now I'm going to be like, ta-da, don't do this and without adult supervision. Look at my little, like, you see those? Look like little grapes. These are so cute. A little blob of grapes, man. Oh, that's 
funny. I like how they turned out. Now I can just use this fabric to clean up. Now let's undo the... Uh, Look at this fun colors, though. Just saying. Look at this. This could be anything. I like it. <laughs> Hold on. Let's get the... Uh, Does this have to, let's see if we can speed dry this. I don't like the weight. Ah, oh, painting apron. I like the idea. To make like a, or even like a waist, uh, maybe a waist one. One that you tie around you. <laughs> Go for it, Eileen. Let them see the amazing things I have made. I double dare you. What's everybody's favorite? My pods later. I have to figure out how I'm gonna paint them. I gotta. I definitely like to do some some little painting on them. I would love the idea of hanging them from a dream catcher. I'm still gonna do that. And I think we dyed everything but uh, but the cheesecloth because I can't find it. I've got a whole thing of it and I can't find it. I can't believe that. I did find my spun makeup sponges for my paint. So I did find that. So that's no longer lost. See, I found them. Oh, can't see them. Yeah, found them. Yeah, I want to see this too. Let me take off my glove. I can't tell if it's dry. Getting there. It's almost dry. This this gun gets really hot. So Yeah, I mean, I mean, this is a fast way to dye fabric, and I really love the um, interfacing because it was see-through and you could stamp on it. I thought that was cool. The ribbon, I think, uh, the bias tape turned out well, and it was fun to dye and curl up the the polyester ribbon and make it all funky. It gets mega hot, so it should. <laughs> World my tour. There you go.
if it's dry enough, we can see if it made a difference. Still a little wet, but we're going to unravel because I need to let dry too long and it's already getting late. And I really soaked this baby. Okay. Ta-da! It's the tie-dye one. There you go. I turned out pretty cool. Got the, you got the, whoops, I'm off camera. Sorry. Hold on. There we go. Got a little, it got all the ridges and uh, purples and it's not like, would have been better if I would have probably tied them a little bit tighter, but that's not too bad. That's fun. And then again, like I said, I'm with, we'll see what I end up using these for. But I think that was just a quickie. Let's go for it. Yeah. I think if I already used the brighter colors, maybe, but I like it. I really like this area here where you get the, like, the more definition in here. Look, this is almost like a crooked heart. I think it would make a cool uh, journal cover. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you uh, remembered you need rubber bands. <laughs> I'm glad I could help with that. Well, I guess I will end my stream here. It is 10, 11 Eastern. And um, so everybody who has to get up early can uh, for tomorrow for Dee's stream or work or whatever. And I will stream again on uh, Friday around 6.30 um, after Shauna. 6.30 Eastern, that is. You're welcome. At least this won't be a, like a seven-hour stream. Let's see. Three hours and 12 minutes. There you go. <laughs> I got five more. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Eileen, for the, for the fabric paint. I really, really appreciate it. This was so much fun. Thank you very, very much. And I can't wait to see what Kathy does with it. The pressure's on. <laughs> The pressure's on, Kathy. She's got to figure out what she's going to do with it. Oh, thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Sharon, Jean, Linda, AJ, CB, Vaughn. Thank you, everybody, for coming on Tuesday night and uh, having some fun. Good night, everybody. If I missed your name, I'm sorry. Bye.